Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So today, Virg, I want to switch it up just a little bit and do a July love reading. Now, I'm very excited about this reading because I pulled a card for you and it looks like this month you're going to be getting to know somebody, Virg. All right. I'm talking about Kiki and for no good reason. I feel like when you're with this person, they just excite you. They literally do nothing. I feel like this, whoever this person is, could have an air sign kind of uh, energy to them. It doesn't have to be an air sign, but they just seem very intellectual. Uh, they don't really show so much emotion in their face. So you find yourself trying to figure out like, hmm, does he like me? Does she like me? Trying to really figure that out. But I feel like with the energy that you guys share, it's such a yin yang kind of energy. You guys are opposites in some ways, but it works. I also am getting this energy with this person that as you open up to them more, as you're more vulnerable with them, they're more vulnerable with you. And you start to see them more like human size. Like, okay, you can unzip your shirt. Well, <laughs> not in that way, Bird, right? We're not doing that just yet. Okay, maybe some of us are. But like you, you can loosen up is basically what I'm trying to say. Like, relax. I feel like your person, they have this energy to them where they just seem uptight. Like, oh my gosh, really, really uptight. But I feel like you kind of, I don't know, you break through that for them. All right, some of you guys could have just met this person recently or you're starting to really get to know them just a little bit better. A lot of you guys, it's, it's new. Okay, so let's see what this is. If the past comes, oh my God. I, and, and you know what, Spirit, that's why I said what I said. I was like, if the past comes back, I'll speak on it, Virg. I just got so depleted. And I feel like that's an omen for you. I feel like if you dare, if you dare go back to whoever this past clown was, the one that you're in and out with, the one that you're on and off with. Yeah, that one. I feel like there's going to be. All right. What is this spirit? Let me get this out the way because we were just starting off a nice reading. It was cute. And then boom, judgment. OK, what is this? Spirit said, go and wrap it up. OK, let's pack that up. This person, this energy, whatever it is that you're still holding on to them. I understand that there's a lot of love here. There were even recent conversations you could have had with this person. For some of you guys, this person is at a distance. But I feel like, uh, Virg, the hard part is that for many of you guys, I'm just going to go into this quickly because I know many of you are more focused on new. That this person, whoever wants a second chance, they have a way of disarming you. Like you feel like a lot of times, like, okay, I'm good. I got them out of my system. And it's like, whoop, <laughs> hit you with the okie doke. No, you didn't. They're right back here. So just give me, just give me a couple more on this. Okay, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, Virg, you're really going to have to be mindful about how you deal with this person. We've been saying reconciliation, reconciliation, reconciliation. And your past readings, I got, I've just got to get the energy. Six of Cups is reconciliation. Judgment is reconciliation. That's just what tarot is, right? So I just feel like there's this energy where you're going to have to be very clear, Virg, with this person, even with yourself, right? Like about your boundaries. What do you want to bring into your life? What experiences are you trying to call in? Because if you keep thinking and going back in the past and wondering and ruminating over this person, reminiscing, you're going to manifest more of that. That's how, that, that's how it works, right? So with Ace of Swords, bring this sword out and ching, right? Cut them clean off. That's, what, that's the only thing that's going to solve this. Um, what's going to come of this situation with this past person? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, this is going to be you. Okay, watching the rain, dribble down your window pane, and you're going to miss this person. And I, I get it, but we got to move on. Okay, it's a new dawn, a new day. What is this here, spirit? Okay, king of pentacles. I feel like the person who's coming in, right, because this is your divine counterpart. You're the king or the queen of pentacles. Take the gender as it resonates. But, Virg, it's just like you have such an exquisite, right? Thank you, spirit, an exquisite divine counterpart that I feel like you're not even seeing. Like, look how you're not even... You're not even looking. You over here reminiscing about woulda, coulda, shoulda. Okay, about that Aries or um, po uh, possibly for some of you guys a Pisces in the relationship you could have had, would have had. Maybe a Sagittarius I just got as well. Right, but it's like you're blocking your ability to see the fact that you do have a suitor. Right, and I feel like for many of you guys that's coming in soon, Virg, we, especially those of you guys who've been watching my channel for a minute, you're supposed to be in a relationship. That's coming in for you guys soon. We, get, we always get that. And many of your readings, and I feel like I just want you guys to have that so bad. As I stop shuffling, we got the Ace of Cups. This is new love, okay, with the chariot after a time of um after a time of turmoil. Tell me more about this person that Virgo's gonna be getting to know. 
tell me more about this person that Virgo is going to be getting to know. What is this? A star card. Bottom deck, Knight of Pentacles. The thing is, Virgo, you're so used to <clears throat> um, toxicity, right? Or something being so in and out, hot and cold. That when this person comes in, and I, I said that earlier, thank you, Spirit, you kind of wonder if they really like you or if they're really invested. And you only wonder that, Virg, because they're unlike your past experiences. You're used to hot and heavy. Let's move this forward. And I like you. I love you. You're used to that from the outset. This person is not like that. That is the first sign of a mentally sound, emotionally sound person is that they're not trying to marry the first person that they see or, or love bomb them. Right. So I feel like don't mistake whoever this new person's like, um, whoever this new person is, whether you, they just came in or they're coming in, don't mistake their, their more slower approach for disinterest because that's that you'll be mistaken because with the star card, I feel like this, this is the type of energy that you need to have this very healing effect over you. Right. I feel like you're going to start to redefine love or look at love differently when you allow the situation to grow. Because with the Knight of Pentacles, I love this night. This is my favorite night of the deck because they actually carry something super stable here. And the thing is, you can mistake it and think like, well, damn, it's not moving forward. Right. So I definitely see this as a slow burn. It's not a it's not anything quick or fiery. Don't get me wrong. I feel like there's going to be a lot of flirtatiousness. There could even be talks about like going to see this person, perhaps travel. All right. For, especially if you guys are. um at a distance, I think we picked that up. But you're going to see that this person's interested, but they just got a different style with it, though. Okay, give me more. Tell me more about this newer person. And Virgo will just look at you. Just sitting there. Tell me more about this newer person. Virgo, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it, okay? We got um, someone wants to talk. <laughs> So, Virg, I feel like there's going to be, there's no shortage of what you guys can talk about. You guys talk about everything, uncomfortable things, small talk, big talk, everything. And I feel like that's the type of energy that you wanted from this person. And I feel like for some of you guys, it will be a bit painful, I just got. Okay, because you wonder, like, you wonder why, like, damn, like, why am I getting this from this person? Or why are things going well with this person? This is what I wanted from my past person. For some of you guys, um, your past person's first, middle, last could be uh, start with a J or A. Okay, take that as it resonates. I'm also getting M. But again, when somebody wants to talk, they don't, they don't necessarily, like, um, this is not the type of person who just like to sit on that phone. For some of you guys, you have, a, you had a suitor who just likes to, uh, fill up their time with nonsense, fill up their time with going out, being on the phone, dating, being just out there, Knight of Wands energy, just frolicking all freely and all crazy and all recklessly. This is not that person. So trust and believe when they're on the phone with you or they're spending their time with you, they're doing it because they actually value what you have to say. I don't know if you feel so confident about knowing how this past, knowing if this past person truly valued your, your thoughts. Okay. Give me more here on this newer person. Tell me what the conversation is like. Tell me what this conversation is like with this newer person for my Virgo. Okay, air sign. Very, it's a very cerebral uh, kind of connection. Very, um, I want to say just intellectual. I feel like this person t takes it very slow, even on the passion. The flirtatiousness comes a bit later. I feel like this is that type of energy where it's like you're going to, you have to know for sure, Virg, or you have to kind of re de redefine what it looks like for somebody to be interested. This is what it looks like. They call you, they talk to you, they value your opinion, they bounce ideas off of you. They're consistent, they're communicative. Those are all signs of genuine interest. Whereas all this hot and cold that you have with this person, Virg, if this was supposed to be, you wouldn't always be in a situation of missing this person. To, be, to miss somebody means that you don't have them or you, you never have them. You in a state of missing them more than you're in a state of having them. That is a problem. Right, Virg, like, I'm not here to, you know, fuss at you today or whatever, but you know, I love my Virgos. I'm a Virgo myself, Virgo son, and I really don't play about us. So when I see nonsense or you going back and entertaining some BS, I'm going to call it out. Okay, I also feel like with whoever this new person is, you guys talk about bad habits, all right, or, or you did, or um, habits that don't serve you, habits that don't uh, evolve you, and you could also bring up old relationships, and when you have that conversation, Virg, because I'm, yeah, many of you guys are going to have that conversation, definitely let me know down below if you already have, but you're going to look, and you're going to look at this person, and you're going to kind of see a bit of yourself in them when you do that, because you're going to be like, wow, I didn't think that I could meet someone this evolved, or that another person could have this perfect perspective this is so refreshing 
it's like it just feels good like a breath of fresh air like wow i like this this feels nice okay tell me more about this newer person tell me more about this newer person and then i'm gonna see how you need to prepare bird okay yeah this is cute okay and tell me how the virgo needs to prepare for this older person coming back what is this how does my virgo need to prepare for this older person coming back okay they said, listen, this is how we're going to prepare. <laughs> no contact. Don't even deal with it. For some of you guys, you know, you're going to take this and, you know, and throw it away. And that's fine. Every, you know, I done did a lot of BS in my day as well. Let's be very clear on that. But with the family oriented, with what you need to look out for is that this person, they have a very way of getting all chummy chummy. I told you, they're going to disarm you. Maybe you guys have a kid. Maybe you have a sore spot for them because they're a great provider or they're a great father, a great mother. Um, I'm sure, Virg, you're not nuts. You you dealt with this person this long and, and this at this capacity because there's obviously something um, worthwhile or something. I'm not going to say worthwhile. I'm going to use that very loosely. But I'm going to say there's something uh, good, okay, for lack of better words. There's something good about this person, right? So that's why you do this, why you have this ping pong back and forth energy. So just be mindful of that, right? Because it's like your spirit guys are like, no. Right. Like and some of you guys be like, well, maybe we can be friends. No, you can't. You cannot be friends that you were. You cannot be friends with somebody, Virg, that you was in that bedroom doing all that extra extra with. You no, know, you cannot. OK, let's not let's not fool ourselves here. And I know many of you guys are cringing. <laughs> somebody was cringe so hard. Like, God damn it. I can't even No, you cannot. Right. And remember, I'm just giving. Listen, I look at this as a way to give constructive advice through getting the messages and giving you guys what I feel intuitively. Do as you please. It's your life. But again, I want the best outcome for you guys. And what we have here is message, right? So I feel like you're going to have to be mindful because you know how your past person like to resurface. I got, I just got, especially around the summer months when they feel like they're starting to miss you or uh, lose grip of you. But you're going to have this part of you, Virg, that's being taught, that's being pulled because you really feel like this person is sweet. This person is kind, this new person. And they're very old school. They're very traditional in the way that they love and the way that they show up. Okay. Give me more here, Spirit. What is this? What do we have here for my Virgo? Okay. We got the King of Cups and the World card. Virg, this could, if you allow this, this could be the last person that you're with. And I say that because this could be the one that you go to high commitment with, who, whatever that looks like for you. Right? Because it's like you can go ahead and, and hang your single boots up if you want to. If you want to allow a love that's mature, somebody who's emotionally available, somebody who's present, somebody who's consistent. You don't have to continue feeling like this about people. Or always having to be in a place where you got to reconcile with somebody because you're up and down. This person is not with none of that. They're a king to the bone. There's no, there's no divine masculine that came out or feminine for that, for that matter, that came out for your past person. None. All right. The choice is yours, Virg, because you're going to have a choice. I feel like you're going to be very turned on by this person if you allow it. Right. They're not going to touch you like your past person or make, or make you feel like that. And guess what? They're not. Spirit, sp thank you, spirit. They don't compare. They're not supposed to. It's a new person, right? We have to get used to that, Berg. It's going to, you know, it's a little learning curve, whatever, but you'll be all right. Go on and get your blessing. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more for the Virgo. And that Ace of Swords, your past person. The thing is to look, <laughs> spirit is not playing with you, Virg. I just need you to know that I don't bullshit. I don't BS you guys. I really don't. And I know I like to curse, but YouTube been real, ugh, real sensory. So I got to act normal and professional nowadays. And I really don't like it. But yeah, look, I still want this. Like, you know, you already know what type of time your person is about to be on. Because I was about to say we had the Ace of Swords here. And that's communication as well in their energy. Okay. They always promise you something that they, that they would stop doing or leave somebody. All right. We have something happening as soon as tomorrow. But this for me as a reader, just a very soon card here, Virg. So I'm going to overturn these cards. I just want to see what it's going to look like for how you're going to navigate the situation, the next actions of your person, both new and past, as well as likely outcome and as well as how they're truly feeling, but don't have the courage to say. So if you are interested in that, Virg, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.